A lot of exciting stuff has been happening inside the world of Google lately with major features announced at CES, a huge AI partnership between Google and Samsung with the launch of the S24 lineup, and there's been a ton of Pixel leaks from the Pixel 9 to the 8a and even the Pixel Watch 3, which was a 9 to 5 exclusive by the way all in one month. But there seems to be a few more surprises left for Pixel owners out there with the release of the January feature drop update. As a quick disclaimer, I wanted to mention most of these features are going to be implemented through Play Store updates as opposed to an actual system update. So if you install January security patch but you're missing some of these features, do me a favor and head over to the Play Store and update your Google apps where the non-server side features should be readily available. That said, I installed as many features as I could on the newly released Mint Pixel 8 Pro, and in this video we're going to take a quick look at everything new you can expect from this update. First things first, yes, we do have the Mint Pixel 8 Pro in the studio. Since it's not a feature, I won't spend too much time on it, but I did want to cover it real quick for those who are interested. Google sent us this elegant custom package with some extras like a little notebook and a color matching charging brick. As a self-proclaimed smartphone collector, if you will, it was pretty fun to get an unboxing experience like this, and I just wanted to include it for the smartphone enthusiasts out there. Either way, this device itself has a pretty subtle shade of mint almost to the point where it could be mistaken for a pure white color depending on the lighting. Compared to some mint colors we've seen from Google in the past, like the Mint Pixel 8 Pro case, the Seafoam Green Pixel 7a case, or the color accent on the Pixel 6a, this is most certainly the lightest of them all. As you can see, the mint color is most noticeable on the frosted glass, with the polished aluminum frame also getting a slight tint in addition to the antenna bands. Overall, I'm a huge fan of these unique color options, and if you know me that I'm always advocating for interesting smartphone designs, and while I think they could have went a bit bolder with the shade of mint, it's certainly a gorgeous color for the Pixel 8 Pro to say the least. Moving on, let's talk about the main focus of this video, which is the new software included in the January feature drop. This time around, we have two major features with a handful of smaller ones in the mix. Unfortunately, most of these are available to the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro, like Circle to Search, for example, where you can search for anything on your screen right inside the application by either circling, scribbling, or simply tapping on a subject. Even though it's included in the marketing material for the January feature drop, it won't be live server side until January 31st, so if it's not working yet, just be patient as it should be activated in a few days. The second major feature is the ability to finally use your Pixel 8 Pro's thermometer sensor to measure body temperature. FDA approval for this was granted in mid December, and in practice, the feature seems to be simple to use as a solo user or on friends or family members considering most people will always have their smartphone around. When you first start it up, you should see a built-in tutorial which is helpful, but all you really have to do is bring the temperature sensor to the center of your forehead and slowly rotate to the temple. During this time, you're getting voice and vibration feedback, and in reality, the whole process takes less than 5 seconds. After that, you can access your readings inside the application itself or the Fitbit app. Obviously, I'm not in the position to give a medical perspective on this, but I would say if you are testing this out, have an actual thermometer to the side until you get a good gauge for the accuracy. There are a few interesting caveats with this feature though. First, it's only available in the United States, which I know is going to frustrate a lot of users out there, but on top of that, you need to have an active US SIM or eSIM in order to use the function at all. This kind of put me in an interesting place because I'm testing a ton of devices at the moment, so in order to record this video, I had to put my SIM in the Pixel 8 Pro, and once I did, the option immediately appeared. So do with that information what you will, but I had to at least let you guys know about it. As for these smaller features, these are all ones we've talked about in the past to some capacity while in beta that are now finally ready for the full stable release. So things like Magic Compose are finally live for the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro that will enable users to use AI to rewrite messages on their behalf in several different styles like Excited, Shakespearean, Formal, or Short just to name a few. Interestingly enough, the Pixel 8 Pro will be processing this on device using the Gemini Nano AI model while other devices will continue 
continued to use the cloud-based version instead. We also got access to Photo Moji, which was added to devices as far back as the Pixel 3a that will allow users to take an existing photo on their device and turn it into a custom React emoji or sticker, just like you've seen on Discord or Slack if you're familiar. Lastly, there were a few extremely minor additions as well that you should be aware of, like seamless audio switching now being available on both the OG and second generation Pixel watches. For those unfamiliar, this will allow you to automatically connect your Pixel Buds Pro between devices very quickly, which is quite useful actually. And while not a feature, Google put a reminder in the marketing material that the nearby share feature will soon be rebranded to QuickShare, so this is more of a heads up. And guys, that's everything new with the January 2024 feature drop. If you're a Pixel 8 user, then you've had a great update this month and I'm very happy for you. If you're like me and you main a Pixel Fold or an older Pixel device, you might be a little salty, which I understand. It pains me not to have circle to search on the Pixel Fold, so all I can say is I hope we get it very soon or else I'll have to find a way to sideload it somehow, so I hope I don't have to go down that route. But but either way guys, leave me a comment and let me know what you think of the January 2024 feature drop. We do have another one coming in March I believe, so maybe, just maybe, there is hope for some of the older Pixel users out there. In the meantime guys, I'm getting out of here to get some fresh, high quality footage of the new Mint Pixel 8 Pro. This has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.